Hi, I'm Mariah. I'm the founder of Femtrepreneur and I'm the creator of Webinar Rockstar. So today I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about planning your very first webinar. Now I have to say, Webinars are my favorite sales, marketing, list building channel. They are everything for me and my business. They took my business from doing, you know, pretty good $10,000 a month to closer to $100,000 a month. So I'm all about webinars. And that's why I created Webinar Rockstar because I felt like the way that I was doing webinars was pretty unique and more people needed to know about how powerful they can be to grow your business. So we're gonna talk about planning your first webinar. Basically, webinars happen in four main phases. Um, those are preparation, promotion, pitching, and post-webinar. So we're gonna talk about the preparation phase really quickly right now, and some of the things that you need to do before you start doing your first webinar, when you're planning your first webinar, right? Because we're all about planning this time. Okay, so when you're planning your first webinar and you're in that preparation phase, you need to come up with a title for your webinar. Now, I like to come up with a title that has numbers in it. It promises a very specific takeaway in a very specific number of time, sort of amount of time. So let's say you can teach someone how to get their first client, you know, four steps to getting your first client in seven days or less. That's a really strong webinar title. It's something small, actionable. It promises a specific result with specific number of steps and in a specific time frame. And that's really attractive to get people to register for your webinar. So think about a sort of formula of, you know, X number of steps to get this result in this many days, weeks, or months. Okay, then you need to choose your webinar topic. Now I'm gonna make this really easy for you. I like to actually kind of let the numbers do the work. And when I'm looking for a webinar topic, what I often do is look at my blog analytics and I say, well, what's my most popular blog post? You know, and that you know is gonna be a very popular topic for your first webinar. So you don't have to try to come up with something off the top of your head, that's not necessary. Go into your blog analytics, figure out what your top one or two blog posts are and just use that as a topic because you already know that it's been successful. So start there. You can always send out a survey to your readers. Um, you don't need to start from scratch and think, oh, I have to come up with a topic off the top of my head. Now, my other advice would be that if you have a course or program, you just make your webinar exactly what your program is about. Again, don't overcomplicate it. Don't try to be too clever. <laughs> just make your, either make your webinar your most popular blog post or just make it a part or a module, sort of uh, an overview of what your course or program is about. So what else do you need to do? You need to outline your webinar. What I like to do for this, and now in Webinar Rockstar, we have very detailed, you know, every single slide, what it should say and when, you know, the order that you need to introduce yourself and all that kind of stuff. But for now, I just want you to outline, you know, the steps that you wanna teach someone. And what I like to say is go over the entire thing right? Do a brief overview of everything and then go into a couple of details in maybe steps one and two. So you want to go into detail in step one and two and then do a brief overview of everything else that you talk about in your webinar. Okay. Now the other thing that you need to do is kind of plan out your promotion. What I'm going to tell you for this stage, when you're preparing <laughs> in the prep phase, we do bleed over a little bit into the promotion phase and we have to create our promo images. And so for your webinar, you actually need to create these social media promo images with a title, you know, the date and time of your webinar, a photo of you, um, any sort of link that they can go to if you have a bit.ly link or something where people can go to find out about your webinar or to register. You're going to create different image sizes for each social media platform and promote those all over the place because tweets and Facebook posts and everything with an image is just going to get noticed more and shared more, especially if they're really attractive. And in Webinar Rockstar, I have examples of what these should look like, but I really just wanted to show you sort of where you need to get started in terms of promoting your webinar and getting people to sign up. Okay, so that's what you need to do to get started planning your very first webinar. 
I hope that I can help you more in Webinar Rockstar. And just know that webinars have completely changed my business. They are my favorite thing. I now do them twice a week, every single week. I absolutely love them. And I hope that this kind of gets you started in the planning phase and take some of the overwhelm out of it. So thank you so much. I'm Mariah, and I'm excited to help you plan your first webinar.